It is March 1st. And <laughs> March is coming in sort of like a, a real uh, drunk, doped up lion. A, a drooping lion. Uh, it's a it's a little it's a little rainy, but it's it's not nearly the lion that March should c come roaring in as. Uh, today is, uh, of course, as everybody knows and has been looking forward to uh, all winter. Uh, today is National Wear Blue to Work Day, and so uh, I'm I'm celebrating with my uh, blue work shirt here a good people's shirt. Uh, in uh, high school, I was uh, really active in the anti-war uh, movement, uh, the Vietnam anti-war movement. And uh, uh, I would drive into Omaha and, and for, for various uh, uh, organizational activities and things like that. And I always wore a blue work shirt you know, like uh, I'm, a, I'm a labor guy. You know, me and Pete Seeger, we wear wear uh, blue work shirts. Well, which are, I still love all that stuff. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm a musician. Okay, <laughs> I'm a writer. Yeah, uh, Constance does all the manual labor uh, around here, uh, for the most part. But anyway, happy, happy National Wear Blue to, to Work Day and uh, post pictures of you uh, uh, in various forms of blue undergarments and things like that, John. We'll be happy to happy to enjoy them. Um, I'm, I'm going to just talk very briefly today about uh, uh, a dear departed uh, hero of magic and and uh, just an all-around good guy, Israel Regardi. And uh, uh, Constance has just uh, done a painting, or recently, well, uh, done done a painting of uh, of Regardi, uh, sort of a classic version of the one that Travis Simkin uh, uh, did, and I and I posted uh, today. Uh, there is a debate that shouldn't be shouldn't be a debate or needn't be a d debate about whether uh, Regardi considered himself a Thelemite. Uh, he certainly considered himself a Golden Dawn man. He told he told uh, uh, me directly that uh, damn it, he's a Golden Dawn man, and and uh, 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 Chick Cicero and and. Uh, uh, Pad Zaleski, uh, of course, affirmed that, affirmed that too, and I'm not certainly not denying that. But was he also a Thelemite? Or did he consider himself a Thelemite? Or did he care if people considered himself a, uh, a Thelemite too? Here's a letter from a fellow, and I uh, and I answered it back, and that's where I'm going to going to leave it. I was reading it over today, and I didn't. Uh, uh, find anything I still uh, disagree with. And it was a very nice letter, dear Mr. Duquette. In our previous conversation, you remembered that being a friend of Israel Regardi, your opinion about his opinion relating to Thelema and Golden Dawn relation is that the great man saw in this no opposition and even considered himself a Golden Dawn man and a Thelemite in equal measure. Now, I don't know if I ever said the words in equal measure, but uh, he may have drawn that, uh, uh, drawn that. Of course, uh, your word for me is one of the most reliable I can find in the occult community. Still, there is confusing part in Pat Zaleski's Secret, Secret Rituals of the Golden Dawn. Excellent book, excellent book, okay. He puts he puts in Regardi's mouth the words, damn it, I'm not a Thelemite. And 
in the wonderful eye in the triangle biography of his teacher regarding leads us to believe that he is not sure that the book of the law is uh, nothing else but Crowley's inconsistent dream and desire. Inconsi inconscient dream and desire. Well, that doesn't, yeah. I'll stop right now and just, just say, well, I'm not sure either. You know, does that make me not a thelemite if I uh, if if I think that about that uh, particular document? Now you can see where I find the confusing point. Could you take five minutes? I hate when someone says, "If you have just five minutes, can can you?" Uh, Explain the difference between Ein Sof and Ein Sof Or. Um, would you take five minutes to el elaborate me an answer that would uh, take care of this contradictory opinion? Okay. Now that has elements of do you still beat your wife kind of gotcha thing, you know. Uh, it's asking a question based on, well, anyway. Dear thoughtful, thoughtful letter, <laughs> do without will shall be the whole of the law. The confusion might stem from Regardi's definition of thelemite in the context of and in the years in which these conversations took place. I'm not challenging Pat's memory of something regarding told him. As a matter of fact, he, to me, he used uh, part of that quote too, including the damn it, I'm a golden dawn man, okay? I can with equal conviction say that Rigardi told me that he did indeed consider himself a Thelemite. The two aren't exclusive in our conversation. I also recall him saying this with the tag line that he was also a Golden Dawn man. Of course, it's possible in both instances he was just trying to be polite and patronizing patronizingly diplomatic when talking to uh, Golden Dawn Poobahs and when talking to OTO Poobahs. And when I say Poobah at the time, uh, Grady McMurtry was standing uh, or sitting right beside me and Constance and Shireen. However, I think Pat and I would both agree that Gar Rigardi was probably pretty candid with whomever he spoke. We should also keep in mind the dates he uttered the comments. I first heard him say he was a uh, Thelemite but Golden Dawn man at a meeting at his home in Studio City in January of 1978. This was part of a conversation with Grady McMurtry. Pat's conversation could have happened before or after that date. I could easily imagine that in the context of Pat's conversation with Rigardi, they might have been discussing the occult crazy generic Thelemite, Crowleyite, or people who argue Crowley is God and the book of the law is the final revelation to mankind. They might be referring, also referring to Rigardi's OTO or AA affiliation or non-affiliation. I've seen postcards and letters from Rigardi to Crowley and vice versa, in which salutations of 93 and do what thou wilt. In at least one of them, Crowley addressed Rigardi with a salutation reserved for OTO ninth degree initiates. I then 
Uh, then I bet there were years after Crowley and Rigardi parted the company when Rigardi's feelings for Crowley were so bad that it is highly likely he did not consider himself a thelemite. I also bet that between the publication of I in the Triangle and his death, Rigardi went back and forth on many of his past and present spiritual life issues. You and I will probably do so also. As we communicated, I did not keep checking. Do you consider yourself a Thelemite today? Once he moved to Sedona, I don't think we talked or wrote again. Also, I never asked him directly about his view of the Book of the Law. I can easily believe, however, that his inconscient dream and desire quote was probably how he felt, at least when he wrote it. With the same ease, I can easily imagine how from a magical philosophical perspective, inconscient dream and desire and praetor human intelligence might mean the same thing to him in the context of that statement. I don't know. Frankly, the only true authority who can tell you for sure if the Golden Dawn and OTO work are compatible or incompatible is you. I certainly don't have a problem with working with these two organizations. I'm also a proud Mason. Of course, as a Thelemite, I would certainly be inclined to say fuck you to anyone who suggested they had the authority to tell me otherwise. Love is the law, love and your will, law. P.S. What you think might have been a five-minute note back has taken me the better part of an hour to craft. I'm trying to care for a wife with a broken hip, two dying cats, and several overdue deadlines. I hope you will be able to resolve this subjective judgment call by means of your own sincere meditations. <laughs> Good luck. Well, that's that's my letter back anyway. I, I hope you uh, uh, are now satisfied that the issue is unresolved. And until tomorrow, continue to be good to yourself, be good to each other. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law, love under will. Frankly, I consider myself a Thelemite.